you know, in the practice of witnessing, you may have heard to think of it like that metaphor that you're just watching the clouds passing in the sky. Yeah? Why? Because really, mind, it is rooted in consciousness. It is the sky. It's the objects, the clouds, that you fixate on. The thoughts, the thinking. Now typically what happens with this practice of witnessing is you are told to watch. Yes? Vipassana. Means to be watchful, be the witness. Unfortunately, the focus is still primarily on the clouds. Isn't it? That is actually not the goal of vipassana. That is not the goal of witnessing. The goal of witnessing is to establish enough space in your attention, your field of attention, that you no longer fixate as much with the clouds. And in reducing that fixation in that space, you begin to become more present, more aware of the sky until such a point that your focus completely changes and it is no longer focus on objects, thoughts, and the wandering, but simply the presence, the sky. The amazing thing is that it doesn't matter where you are, where you have wandered with your mind, it is a point of entry. It is always a point of entry. So it's never that where you have wandered is the problem. It is never that the mind itself is the problem. It is only to do with where your focus goes. And that happens in an instant. It doesn't happen in degrees or in a shade. You can't be partly focused on the sky. You can't be partly focused on on the clouds, either you're focused on the clouds or you're focused on the sky. The beauty is, however, that once you become that focus of the sky, you remember you are the sky, then you're aware the clouds are there, but you're no longer identified with them. You, you don't give them any relevance anymore. So just like my, my dear little neighbor, if she could turn her focus towards the sky, she would find instantly that all of that ugliness, that confusion that she's experiencing would resolve itself. Why? Because it doesn't matter how many clouds are there, the sky is always present. The, the sky cannot disappear. The sky can never disappear. The clouds can you see, the more you focus on the clouds, the more clouds you generate. And it just becomes this great, dark, thunderous, confusing sky full of clouds. This is humanity. Humanity has forgotten itself. And we know what happens the more you focus on those clouds and the more you identify with them, the more conflict one generates and the more one goes about trying to fix things from within the clouds. Of course, you can't fix anything from within the clouds. You can't see clarity within the clouds. Either you're in the cloud or you're in the sky. That's it. 